be working with somebody who stinks and I don't want to stink. So please, if you're ever working with me and I stink, please tell me I stink because obviously I have tools in here to de-stink myself. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Chrissy. I am a paramedic full time, as you might have known from a previous video. If you hear a noise, it's because I'm sitting on a um, a vinyl seat. It will squeak and make noise every now and then. So if you hear something like that, just know it's not me. Anyway, um, I'm gonna show you what I bring to work with me every day and how I prepare for a shift. I'm coming to the end of my shift today. I do work 12 hours, so if I look like a hot mess, that's why. So um, with the recent COVID-19 virus um, going on in our world, I do have a mask that I wear with every single patient encounter. So this, this is the number one thing that I bring with me every day every shift to work. So this particular mask has interchangeable carbon filters on the inside. And I do bring a box of backup filters just in case I do come in contact with somebody who's suspected of having the COVID-19. So with that being said, I wear a mask with every patient encounter as well as my partner and we do put a mask on every one of our patients. That is to protect us, and that is to protect our patients as well. Also make sure everybody, well, on every call, I always carry hand sanitizer. And that was even before COVID-19 came out because you can never be too clean if you can't get to a place where you can wash your hands properly. This is an okay substitute, temporarily. Um, I always have my scope on me. This is a necessity of being a paramedic. I always bring a bottle of water because we're trapped in this ambulance for a 12 hour shift. So water is a necessity. I always bring two bags with me to work. One is, um, a cooler bag that I carry food in. This is a Coleman, um, cooler bag that I got from Walmart. It was around $20. It's pretty big so I can carry my food and a bunch of other things that I need. And this is a bag that I usually keep with me in the truck. And this is a, a 31 bag, I believe. So anyway, in my bag that I keep in the truck, I do have a bag of toiletries. This has feminine products. It has um, face wipes because when it's hot and gross out, I like to wipe my face constantly because it gets nasty. And um, I also carry some <clears throat> room spray. This one right here is from Bath and Body Works. It's that concentrated room spray, you know, just in case I need room spray. I also have a Tide pen in here because as you can see, I'm wearing a white shirt. So if I spill something on my shirt, a Tide pen is very good for getting out little stains on the spot. I do have another bag of toiletry items. I have a hairbrush. I have a, like a facial toner because like I said, when it's hot out and gross out, or if I do a double, that's good to like freshen up. I have hand cream because of all the hand washing, your hands can get dry. I have a little, a little thing of perfume, you know, girly stuff. I have another thing of hand cream. I have a plethora of hair ties. Just in case I need to pull my hair up on top of my head and put it in a bun because sometimes I wear my hair down. So um, I always keep hair ties on me. There's also um, in the bottom of this, I have toothpaste. I have an extra set of mascara and an extra set of eyeliner and makeup stuff like that. These are anti-diarrheals, I think. 
You know, because when you have a stomach ache or a stomach problem and you're on an ambulance, those come in handy. But I also, like I keep the extra makeup so if I'm staying for a double, I can wash my face and redo my face. So that's why I keep extra makeup in my bag. See, my bag is not the most organized right now. I do have to get um, some more of these clear things so that I could be a little bit more neater. But um, my wallet is always on me. And in this little wallet, I have all my certifications because we do get spot checked by the state. They will stop us and check our truck to make sure that we have all the supplies that are required of an ambulance on, on our truck and that we're stocked and everything's, you know, expiration dates are up to date and stuff like that. But they also make sure that the people that are on the ambulance are qualified to be here. So these are all my certifications that I keep with my wallet in the, in the bag that's on me in the truck. Um, another thing I keep is a hat because if it's raining out, this will keep my head dry. So I do keep my hat on me. Um, or if I'm just plain old having a bad hair day, this will cover my rat's nest of a hair. So I keep that in my bag. I also have a bag of chargers. There's all kinds of chargers in here. There's a wall charger, a charger for the front of the truck. There's also a Apple Watch charger in there in case my Apple Watch dies. There's also a, um, I think they call it a dongle. I don't know, I'm not very techy, but like if you're gonna plug in your phone to the radio, like that kind of attachment thingy, I keep that in here. So basically like electronical wires for my phone and watch are in here. So I keep that on me as well. I really do need to clean this bag out. <laughs> like seriously, it's, it's a mess in here. But anyway, um, another bag full of stuff. And in this bag, I have a lint roller because I'm wearing dark clothing. So lint shows up very easily. So I do carry a lint roller. There's another thing, a body spray, because you can't have um, too much perfume or body spray, I guess. Apparently, according to my bag here, I have some Tic Tacs. Hey guys, if you are in healthcare, you know this can be your best friend. It's Vicks. So basically, for those of you that don't know how healthcare workers use Vicks, it's for extra really, really stinky, smelly, smelly situations where you just need to not smell what's going on there. So we take a little Vicks and we put it under our snout and it helps with any stinky, stinky smells. So I have some of my own Vicks in here. Um, I also have my prescription sunglasses for when I'm driving because my transitions don't change behind the wheel in the uh, in any vehicle, so I have that. I have an extra pen. Um, I also have some plastic utensils in case I am eating in the truck and I don't have any silverware. So that's everything I keep in the bag that stays with me in the truck. This is another bag I carry. This is my cooler bag and at our particular station that I'm at, I can basically pack my food and take it out of the cooler and we have a refrigerator in our post so I can take the food out of the cooler and put it in, my, in the um, refrigerator post. So I have lots of other things that I keep with me in my bag. So my keys go in there for my car so that I don't lose them. That goes in there. There is another bag of feminine toiletries that I keep with me in the station um, so that, you know, obviously for female reasons, they're in here. But also in this bag, I keep um, room spray. I keep uh, peppermint essential oils. This is more so for the summer because when you're really, really hot in a uniform, if you take a little bit of peppermint essential oil and dab it behind your ears, it actually makes you feel like you're not hot. Like, it works, guys, it works. But that's why I keep that. Um, I have deodorant for when it's hot or if I do a double, then I don't have to worry about hygiene problems. <laughs> so that's, that's my little baggie that I keep for hygiene purposes. This is another little bag that I have that has chargers in it for when I'm in the post 
so that I don't have to walk outside to the truck. I have extra hand sanitizers in here as well for when I run out. I have some ibuprofen. I have um, some Excedrin. I have my um, I have my earbuds for my uh, Apple earbuds for my phone. I have some Vaseline that I use as chapstick for you know because it's winter time guys and it gets really dry so like Vaseline is a great um, lip lubricator <laughs> for lack of a better term. I have some hand um, hand lotion. I have um, we wear black boots. So I have shoe polish because I like to keep my shoes looking professional and nice. I have um, I have Neosporin in case I have a boo-boo and I need to disinfect my boo-boo and keep it clean. I have liquid bandage um, in case I cut myself on something that's like in a place where I can't put a band-aid. Um, I do have some perfume down in here. I have, um, I also have, um, my work ID that I keep in here that has a badge access on it that I don't want to lose that so it stays in my bag unless I need it. So that's what's in this little thing at the bottom. Okay, there are some duplicate items in here as well that I keep in this bag as well as the other bag in case, um, you know, for the stuff that I can use while I'm at post is in this bag and then I keep the other stuff in that bag that stays in the truck with me in case they post us somewhere and um, I can't get back to the station for a while. I have essentials in that other bag that I might need. So I also have in this bag um, multi-cold medicine for, you know, allergy type stuff. I have shout wipes for the white shirt and any other thing I might get on my shirt. I have Altoids. I have some Tums. See, you can see that I have like a medicine chest in here because a long day is 12 hours and, I, you know, we have to be prepared in case you don't feel well, you know. Not everybody can just go home. You just, you have to suck it up. Just take medicine and suck it up. I have extra pens in here. I have lots of plastic silverware. Um, I have cough drops. I have more perfume and body spray. Another thing of perfume. I like to be prepared because I, I don't want to be working with somebody who stinks and I don't want to stink. So please, if you're ever working with me and I stink, please tell me I stink because obviously I have tools in here to de-stink myself. So I'm prepared with hygiene, <laughs> hygiene products to, um, you know, for my 12 hours or beyond. So I also have these crystal light um, packets for my water in case I'm like really tired and we can't get coffee. Um, these have caffeine in them actually, so this will give me the little boost that I might need and for an afternoon pick-me-up. And then, um, the last thing I have, I picked up more of this stuff because I, I worked a double recently, so I needed to have this on me. Um, cleansing wipes for my face. And, um, toothpaste. And a toothbrush. So I have one in both bags in case, like I said, we're stuck somewhere and we can't get back to the station. So I'm always prepared no matter what. I also have extra filtration um, filters for my mask. <laughs> also in my, I keep a book, I always keep a book and I happen to have this cookbook of soups with me today. And in the other bag I have the Fly Lady System book. So I always have a book on me, but that is what I bring. Wait, in my pocket. In my pocket. Chapstick. And I always have gloves on me. Always. So, that is what I have with me on my shift as a paramedic. And you always have to be prepared because being a paramedic is a long day. It's a long shift. So, I like to come with it may seem excessive and more than I might need, but trust me when I tell you that if you're staying here longer than 12 hours, it helps to have this stuff on you so that you are prepared, you don't stink, um, you can stay clean, your uniform can stay looking nice, your shoes can stay looking polished, your breath doesn't smell, and you are good to go with your hygiene. So 
Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your support. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Click the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. Like the video and share with your friends. Your support means so much. The light just shut off on me. Your support means so much to me and I really appreciate you clicking that subscribe button. Thanks again. Have a great day, guys. Until next time. Bye.